For this, its third year, the Prix Pictet Photography Prize has chosen growth as its theme. After its elemental infancy of earth and water, it's gone metaphysical. What we said was, I think we should move to something that's a little bit more abstract, a little bit more challenging, less obvious. Growth was the one that we alighted on. It's a very rich theme, growth, and, uh, because it's so paradoxical. Indeed, contradiction abounded in a selection of works that presented growth as a problem, albeit an occasionally beautiful one, and man-made always, even if man wasn't immediately apparent. One of the themes that the uh, jury was fascinated by was the fact that some of the photographers showed pictures devoid of human beings and others emphasised the developing world showing wonderful portraits of people making the best of their situation under really awful circumstances. In Ed Batinsky's pristine panoramas, the patterns of growth are writ large on large landscapes, fed by oil, changed by it driven by hunger for more of it. For me, it's like you know, selecting that one shard, that one uh, view that somehow encompasses uh, this new uh, scale of growth, this new landscape that is kind of larger than we may have maybe imagined it to be. And I think that's something that the still image, when you can find that and contain it into one image, it really can kind of stand as this kind of icon of, of that activity, of that way in which we behave as humans. There are no people in these landscapes. They're all in their cars, in the mall, at the drive through shouting through the intercom. Michael Wolfe's hypnotic Hong Kong skyscraper series, without skylines or the context of human scale, read like barcodes. 10,000 people to a building, 10,000 buildings, an island to define growth. Hong Kong is one of the densest places in the world and you have these housing estates which are almost like visions on the horizon. And part of the effectiveness of these pictures is actually that they are photographed without a reference to a sky or a horizon. So they could be 10 times as big as you see here, or 20 times or 30. You have this um, wonderful illusion that you're, or a very powerful illusion you're creating of, of unlimited growth. Mitch Epstein was this year's winner for his similarly unpopulated pictures of power plants and their falsely polite perimeters. Epstein looked at the source of power, the smoking engines of growth themselves, and wondered why we hide them, disguise them, and if we have to at all, how we behave in their shadow. The challenge, I think, for me is how to photograph them in a way that humanizes them. I saw it as a kind of critical opportunity to look in a larger way at the American landscape and to investigate aesthetically um, and culturally the manifestations for the choices that we have made. While Epstein immortalized the cathedrals of coal burning and oil refining and found beauty in the subtleties of their hulking black masses, Stephen Couturier entered the modern mechanized beehive of a Toyota car plant to find the abstract in the exact. For me, it's very important that uh, uh, human beings are only one part of the world. Maybe they, they don't know exactly what they are constructing. Who is in charge of this uh, factory? It's the same for the cities. Who built a city? Nobody in a way. So they are only part of the processes. And despite images of consumption, overcrowding, breadline subsistence and irreversible human intervention, no one said it was ugly. If growth has become decay, it was noble rot that the 12 finalists of this year's Prix Pictet saw through their lenses. I mean, beauty is undeniable. And to turn away from beauty would be a profound failure on my part. I think it's through beauty that we can develop a kind of greater appreciation for what we've been handed. I think there's a kind of axis or tension in a lot of my pictures where um, there's a meeting of beauty and terror that um, is uncomfortable um, and hard to just turn away from. Photography has, uh, in my judgment, an advantage that you don't get in print. It captures something in an instant which can stand the test of time. And if you look at it seriously, you see much more than any written script can tell you. And what is remarkable is the message it conveys. It's able to convey the immediacy, the agency, 
the sadness and the desolation, whatever we look at. And it's, it's, it's quite amazing with photography. They capture a whole story. For Monocle, in Paris, I'm Robert Bound.